Okay, welcome everybody. We're here to talk about HTML code. And this is how we uh, need to, we need to understand what this code is uh, in order to uh, better edit and deal with problems in our wiki pages. Uh, now, here's the reference page. And let me click on Edit the Wiki Contents. And this is what we see normally. Uh, let's forget, let's fix that. And then also notice that this, as an APA style, is italics. And we just you know, highlight that and click the italics button. But, <clears throat> excuse me, also, we don't have the hanging and in, dents of APA style. That is, uh, this line, the first line of each entry should be flush but the second and third and every other line should be indented. So we don't have that. Uh, how could we fix that? Well, we could uh, highlight that, and then we could do this button, but that moves everything over. Uh, we could do uh, spaces, but I think that when we actually submit this, uh, we get a weird thing like this. So. Uh, we're having a problem formatting this. And that's because what we see here and the buttons that we see are not really what is on the web page or what is really written on the web page. What is really written on the web page is the HTML markup code. Uh, it's called, it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And there's the button that will allow us to see what it actually is. Every time we push one of these buttons uh, in the editor, it will write in HTML tags for us uh, kind of mindlessly because it's a computer. Uh, but if we run into problems, we actually have to look at the code uh, to figure it out. So what is HTML code? Well, if you type in basic HTML code, you get lots of nice pages like this one. And it's teaching us here about HTML headings. HTML, head, HTML headings are defined with the tags H1 to H6. So here's an example, and we can try it yourself. And so this is the source code with the HTML tags. These are the tags. And this is the result that is what your web page would look like. And so this allows us to play around and edit things. So this is my heading and I submit the code and it turns out this is my heading and I can say this is heading number six the smallest and I submit it and yep and this is how uh, we actually edit the web page uh, these are called tags notice you have to have a front tag and an end tag uh, the front tag for h1 which is the highest biggest heading and the end tag is slash h1 and that's the way basically HTML code works you have the introductory tag you have the text that you want to mark up and then you have the closing tag so that's HTML let's take a click here and look at the HTML code for this page and wow, it looks all confusing and stuff, but actually it's not. Uh, let's take a look at this piece of code here. What the heck is that for? Well, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm just going to paste it into Google. And oh, Google will tell some things, and eh, that looks confusing. I don't want to go there. I'm going to go here. Ah, and P align equals whatever. Uh, this is some text in a paragraph. And the attribute of blah, blah, blah. Oh, and then we could align something centered, right or left. And as we see, going back to our HTML window, we aligned it center. Oh, we're aligned, and that's. Uh, where we close the uh, P, that's the end uh, code. So this is how we get references to be in the center. P style equals text align center. 
and then we close it. And what does strong mean? Well, let's just take a look. HTML strong, the strong tag. The strong tag is the strong tag important text. So I assume, let's try it for yourself, oh, the strong tag is for bold. And so, how do we get references to be centered and bold? We use this tag to center it, and this, whoops, and then, I didn't want to do that, and then this tag to bold it. And so that's how that works. Notice that EM The EM tag is how you get things in italics. Ooh, okay. And that's how I taught myself HTML, dealing with these windows and going to Google and seeing what they were. Uh, so that's what the HTML code for this page looks like. So we didn't change anything, so let's cancel it. So what I want to do is I want to try to get this into the right APA format. Well, how can I do that? Well, I just went to Google and typed in APA citation HTML code. And this is the first link I got. Uh, here's the HTML code for hanging indents in APA style reference lists. So I copied it. And then I HTML. Uh, here are my reference lists. Let's. So I have the P's here, so I just want to get rid of these P's and put the N tag at the very end. And if I do that, let's see what happens. Oh, I, did I click close or update? That's important. I clicked close. I canceled it. Oh, so let's go back to Moonflower Dragon. Thank you for this nice text and code. And. And then that's the end of the citations. Now, update. Oh, and as you see, for this one, which does run over, it did do the hanging indent. Now let's save it. And here we see uh, the two hanging indents. So that, you know, if other problems would come up, I would go into the HTML code and look to see what the problem was. Sometimes weird things happen. I know that some of you in doing your hobby wiki had problems setting up things. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, going to cough. Uh, <coughs> and uh, some of these problems are probably caused by HTML code. And the only way that you can solve it is to look at the code and research it on Google, figure out what the tags mean, and then correct it. So that's how we go about editing with HTML.